Good morning here from Koh Samui. I really would love to transmit some of the magic here of this, of this country, of this place, of this sunrise moments here in one of the temples. And look, I'm here on a narrow bridge. He comes to I'm getting more and more appreciating of everything, of the people, of the country, of the, the food, the climate, the nature. Well, what I want to tell you is one other aspect that I think is, is, is key, important for, for our life, for making things, for realizing things, for not suffering unnecessarily, and that's about when you really think now I got it, now I have it, now I know that, that that's the key. I tell you there's always <clears throat> there's always the other side of it. That you think it's a contradiction. No, but it's actually a compliment. So whenever you think now this is the way and only way, you are certainly missing out the compliment. And uh, this is, um, I, I, I will talk about many different polarities, I already talked about many, but one of the uh, key ones that relates to the law of attraction of how, of how to make things, uh, realize things, is, and, and, and you probably realize this, this contradiction when they tell you in the law of attraction, well, you have to ask for or visualize exactly what you want but then you have to ask in a way as if you already have it <laughs> so that you're not in a, asking from a position of need and this is what how is this possible i mean how can i ask for anything and think i have it already so it it, it doesn't work this way but this is how they found something correct that you need to have on one side uh, an expression of what you need and on the other hand you have to also come from a point of view or uh, inner state that it doesn't matter if you get it or not so you, you don't come from, an, uh, from a needy point of view but you cannot bring it together you cannot bring those complementary polarities together and this always equals it's out it gets like a gray it gets like a confused state but you have to understand what is the complement and so what I talked about last time is that it's so important when you have pain when you have contradiction when you have opposition when you have uh, difficulties to understand this as energy as energy that can be used to realize what you want so when, when there's, there's difficulties or pain, suffering, not, not to e equal it out by saying, well, it's not so bad, okay, it could be, could be worse, it will, will be over soon, or I know this guy is responsible for it, and, and uh, finding, finding all the, the reasons why it ha is happening or could have been avoided. This is not the way. Just take the energy, realize the pain, and say this energy should go towards this aim. But not towards solving the problem that causes the pain right now, to something unrelated, because otherwise this doesn't work. The shortcut doesn't work, because everybody tries to think about thing, uh, things, what he wants when he has pain because of something like girlfriend leaves him, ah, of course I want to, not her to leave her. No, this doesn't work. You have to, when the girlfriend leaves you, think about the new position you want to get in your job or the, the inner contentment of enjoying being alone and, and, and so any wish, any other wish you might have. 
So that's one thing, whenever there's pain. And then the other side is really many other moments where there's nothing specifically painful happening. Use it to feel completely at ease, completely having have everything already, being exactly there. It's like kind of the being present thing. <laughs> but <clears throat> understand it as a compliment. It's not one or the other, you know, you say, well, well if I'm present, then I should not have times where I, I look forward to have something changed or want something. No, it's a compliment. And this compliment is actually supplying energy also in another form. So when you, when you are in, in or you can actually dedicate, <coughs> you say, these three days I work only on on, on using energy by using all the little discomforts and pains that are there. And then on the next three days or on all even days you you um, only forget about anything that you want that you need that you that that you want to change but you're only grateful and this is what is the other side the other side of the coin that I think some people they think it's always about visualizing what you want some other people say no you're already there you don't need anything just be grateful just be content both is important both and together so you're like the monks for example they, they live a life where they learn to be content in any situation, not to have any wishes, not to have any desires. But it's good for a lifetime. And if you look at them, most they don't look so happy because the other side of the coin is taken out of creating, realizing uh, things in the in the external world. Uh, of sex, of, of money, of uh, new things in, in, their, in their living environment. So, then the others, they're always running, running for new things and realizing the goals they have. And they miss the other side, the gratitude side. So, practice what they call mindfulness but actually it's not using the mind at all but using something else and this is the sense of gratitude really when you when you when you fill yourself with gratitude then the monkey mind gets also very quiet and uh, when you just try to sit and be still and and not have any thoughts, it doesn't work because there's a there's an emptiness, there's a vacuum, and nature doesn't like vacuum. <laughs> so this is what what I wanted to talk about today. It's like have maybe all even days. You use all the pain, all the trouble, all the difficulties, and. Uh, Use it with your vision, with your thought, to direct the energy that it contains in the direction to realize your your vision. And then other the other days, whatever comes doesn't matter. You are grateful. You, you have already everything that you need. There's nothing to look for. 
you are there already. So, really, if you bring both together, it works. If you try to use only one, it's, it's just missing something. You know, this complementary nature of the duality and nature of our life is, is not only the challenge, it's also the solution to our, to our problems.